Good morning, folks. Good morning. Welcome back to this quick little video today. Um, you might be able to hear rushing water in the background. We've got dark skies. We've got glimpses of sun. It's been pouring the rain. Um, but it's just gone off. Behind me there, we've got... Actually, can you see it? Hang on, let's go along a bit. Actually, no, you can't see it. Melville's Monument up there. And then along here, we've got the footsteps down to the Deals cauldron yes we're up here at Comrie today um, up visiting mum so just got a wee side trip here just have a look and see with all the water and the rain we've had lately what uh, what the deals cauldron looks like there's the uh, Melville's monument up there there's all the trees that have been uh, blown away in the storm so let's go and have a look and see how much water is down here today? This Melville's monument up there, folks. You can see it through the, through the trees that's been knocked down. So the path to Deal's Cauldron is up here. A lot of stairs down, though, folks. That's the only thing. So it's fine going down. If it's a bit of a hike going back up, it'll be quite slippy today, I would imagine. So this is the way down here. Have you ever seen that post? Oh no, the, the guy that's on Instagram that goes, uh, There's a place in Scotland where you can do waterfall walks. <laughs> this is one of them. Right, it's very muddy down here, folks. So, we're going to have to kind of pay a bit of attention. You see the water just down there? Right, down we go. There's lots of little kind of bridges and paths to go down. Right, plug the mic in now, folks, because it's got a bit of windy down here. Must be a bit of a wind tunnel. So hopefully you can hear, still hear the sounds of the, uh, the water. There's the viewing platform we're going down to, just down and there. And you can see the uh, ravine off the Deals Cauldron. See right through there, look. Wow. Right, folks, it looks amazing from here. Looking through the, uh, the gorge there, look at that. Lots and lots of water today. Wow. Right, so it's always worth the wee hike down here to the Deals Cauldron. But I say going back up is a bit of a, a mare, but there we go. Fantastic amount of water today at the Devil's, the Devil's Cauldron, or the Deals Cauldron, as we say here in Comrie. I think it's going to rain again in a minute because the sky's got a bit dark. But yeah, it's a little, uh, little viewing platform here that you can stand on. Excellent. It was actually constructed in 1984, folks, that one. I think the Gurkhas built this, if I remember right. Okay, let's go back before this rain comes back on. Back along the footpath from hell. The Deals footpath. There's a lot of uh, big drops down over the side. And there's another ravine over that way. Which I don't think you can get down to. I think there's actually a walk that goes all the way along. But it's uh, not the easiest. Awesome, folks. Awesome. Right. Back up these uh, stairs. Let's just take our time. You'll hear the deep breaths coming on now. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're ever up in Comrie... Actually, there's a footpath going the other way. Um, if, if you're ever up in Comrie, head up the Glen Lane. It's lovely up here. We used to come here as youngsters. In the days, we used to get right up the top of the Lednick to the dam, which I'm definitely going to do again this summer because I've not been up there for so long. 
But you can stop off here at the cauldron, you've got the monument, the Shaki Bridge. A lot of nice places to, to visit. Uh, maybe come midweek because the weekends can be quite busy with climbers. Um, but yeah, worth a visit, folks. Glen Lennock, Comrie, right, more steps. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is about half ten on a Sunday morning, so it's quite quiet, which is great. So I'm so tempted today to actually drive up to the uh, half up the Lennock and then climb up to the there's another waterfall right at the top, but um, I think with the weather today, I don't think it's advisable, but it's just it's a good opportunity because of the amount of rain that's been uh, falling in the last week, it's probably going to be at its best, but I'm not bother, I don't think. It'll be sensible today. Right, let's walk past the car park. And I'll just show you a wee view of the actual the hills. That's where you park your car. There's a wee space there for about maybe three or four cars. And then this is the path that goes right up the top of the... Well, it used to go to the top of the glen, but now it goes halfway up the glen. And it's you stop where um, people park to climb up Ben... No, is it Ben? Do we? I never remember all these Bens. Yeah, but all the climbers up here um maybe not today because of the weather but they come up and stop and then climb up there it's a monroe i think as you can tell folks not very <laughs> not very good when we're monroes and hills right that man I just stopped to speak to him folks i'll tell you his story just in a second yeah so there's a few people actually out walking but that man yeah, he's, he's 90 90 and he does this walk every sunday he says he normally goes right up to the the dam, but he says today because he's getting older he can't make it that far, good on him. But he stays in Creef, he drives up, parks down in Comrie, walks halfway up the glen and back every Sunday. Good for him, good for him. And he's telling me it's Ben Honzi, that one up there, Ben Honzi is the name of the actual uh, Monroe. And he said he's done all these hills up here. And he asked me, have you been up the Monroes? I was like, no, I've been up that, that little hill there. <laughs> Um, so he says we should start. He goes, when you retire, get out and climb as many Monroes as you can. So I think I'll take his advice, maybe and get up a couple of Monroes. There's still a bit of snow up there. Right, we're going to stop here, take some pictures, and uh, head back to the car. Right, there's the beautiful mountains of Comrie, Glenlandic. There's a tiny bit of snow up there. the hill we climbed <laughs> a wee tiny one right at the top there go climbers out for the Sunday jaunt so the um, the man the old man was telling me as well it's getting towards cuckoo season he was saying so up here you get a lot of cuckoos um, strange so April May's cuckoo season which reminded me um, we're getting into puffin season again folks yes puffin season just need to head back to um, Fowl's Croton and uh, check out all the you got all the puffins as well as all the guillemots coming down um, in what's well, usually about May I think and there's millions and millions and millions of guillemots <laughs> and then the odd puffin right I'll just turn around and show you Melville's monument one more time as the wind picks up again but there you go there's Melville's Monument up there on top of the hill. Let's see if we can just zoom in quickly past the uh, the wires. Oh. That's it there, Lord Melville's monument. Yeah, sorry about the wobbly camera work. I've got my selfie stick today rather than a pod thing, tripod thing. You don't get as much stability with this, especially when it's windy. Right, so we're going to head back down road. Um, we're going to call in at Jags. I'm going up to my mate's Hammies for something to eat later. So I just think I've actually not ate since yesterday morning. I was so busy yesterday at the shop. Um, didn't have time for lunch. Rushed to get out to go up to Mum's. 
didn't have time for any tea and then this morning didn't have any breakfast so yeah I need to get something to eat later on there's a wee damn thing down there but too muddy to go down right folks that's it thank you for joining me on today's uh, quick very quick little stroll up here to Glen Lennock Deals Cauldron and uh, we'll catch you on the next adventure like subscribe hit all the buttons you can and we'll see you very soon folks